What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp animation tutorial. So we're continuing our series on different kinds of animations you can create inside of SketchUp. If you remember last week we created an animation with a car that actually had rolling tires inside of SketchUp. Well this week we're going to talk about how to create a similar animation but this time we're going to animate our camera so that it follows our object inside of our animation. So instead of our camera being still it's going to follow along with our rolling car. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright so I've already come in here. First of all we're going to use the extension Animator in order to do this. Animator is the free animation extension from Fredo 6. And what we're going to do is we're going to animate the movement of this car um, follow, going through this gate. So first of all, model credit. So the model itself, the gatehouse, is gate by Taz 1985. And the car is, I believe the car... The car is the car Mini Cooper Three Doors Mini Cooper Three Port by Massimo Orlandini. So um, that's the vehicle that I'm using for this. Uh, so if you want to download that and follow along, you can definitely do that. And note that all of the example files for this video will be available for download at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash animation. Um, but what I've done is I've come through and I've already animated out the movement of the car. So we just I just used the method um, from the video last week and basically what I've done is I've animated the movement of the car and I've also animated the spinning of these two tires. I haven't done the other two because I'm planning on my camera view being kind of from the left hand side but then we've also set this animation up where the car is going to pull up to this gatehouse, this arm is going to open up and then the car is going to drive through. Alright and so this animation is going to play but what we want to do is we want to set our camera movement so that it tracks along with this car. So we want our camera to move with this car so when the car moves we want our camera to move with it. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to insert a new camera view um, starting at zero seconds. So in order to do that we're going to click on the button right here to insert a camera. We're going to click on new camera and so what we're going to do is we're going to add this camera in here. Well, what we've done previously is we've set this up where it has static views and the camera transitions between those different views. Well, now what we want to do is we want to change this to tracking camera. And so what tracking camera does is that moves your camera along with your object. So in this situation, we're going to click on tracking camera and it's going to ask us for a reference object. And we're going to click on this car and select our car. And uh, notice that... After it asks for the reference object, it's then going to ask us to capture our camera position. So we've selected our object, now we need to pick our position relative to the car. So in this situation, what I want is I want this to be kind of an upper view, kind of looking down at this car a little bit, and uh, maybe down just a little bit. And so we're going to click on this button right here for capture camera position. And that's basically telling it that at zero seconds, we want our camera to be this position relative to our car. We're just going to click on this button. So now, you can see how as I move my camera through here, my cam or if I click on this little timeline right here, my camera is going to stay basically at the same relative distance to our car that we had it in here before. So we're going to go ahead and click on save the sequence and exit. Well now, when we click play, we're going to go back here, but when we click play, what this is going to do is this is going to animate our camera moving along with our car. So this is going to follow along with our car throughout our scene. And notice that no matter what the duration is, this tracking camera continues all the way through the scene. Now I haven't really messed around with like swapping to a different view or anything like that. Um, so this is kind of a good starting point. But what we have... So what this allows us to do is this allows us to set up any camera view that follows along with an object and track it inside of our scene. And so then once we're done with this, and I think these um, tire animations might actually be backwards. So we're just going to go in here and we're just going to click on the button for play from reverse. And see if that does anything. There you go. So now those are playing the other direction from where they were playing before. And then I'm going to do the same thing with these down here where I'm just going to reverse the sequence. So reverse the sequence is just going to play those in the other direction. But now what we have is we have a view where our camera follows along with our rolling car inside of our scene. And so once we're done with this, I usually recommend we hit save before we export this. But basically what we're going to do is now we're going to take this, we're going to do a save. 
Then we're going to click on the button right here to generate our video from our film. We're just going to follow the same steps that we followed before, where we're going to call this, we're going to call this um, tracking camera. We'll go ahead and set this to MP4. Um, I'm not going to do anything with rendering here right now. We may do that in the future. Um, and we're going to leave everything else the way that it is. We may do a test image just to see how big this is going to be. And then once we're done with that, we're going to click on the button for generate video. And what that's going to do is that's going to go through and that's going to generate our video of our car moving. So we'll let this work and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at our final result. All right, so now if we come in here and we click on the little play button, that'll open up the video that we created and we can play it. And you can see how for some reason my wheels are spinning the wrong way, so maybe I shouldn't have reversed those. Maybe they were just showing up wrong. But in any case, you can see how this creates this nice animation where it follows along with the movement of this car. So you could use this to get like a low follow view or whatever, but you can use this to track the movement of different objects really easily inside of SketchUp. Remember that the example files for this video can be downloaded at the sketchupessentials.com slash animation if you want to follow along. So that's from it in this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Do you like this series? Are you learning interesting things from it? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.